Hi, I'm Sergeant McClure, and today I'll be reading, I'm afraid your teddy bear is in trouble today. Oh good, you're home. My name is Officer Hardy. I'm sorry to tell you this, but while you were out, we received a number of calls at the police station. I'm afraid your teddy bear got into a little trouble today. You better prepare yourself. It's not a pretty scene. As police officers, we thought we'd seen everything. Well, we've never seen anything like this. As near as we can figure, the party started shortly after you left for school. I still don't know how we did it, but your teddy bear managed to get a hold of your phone. Apparently, he called all of your friends as stuffed animals and invited them over to the house. As you can see, they took him up on the offer. It appears they made pancakes, chocolate chip pancakes, with blueberries and rainbow sprinkles and cherries and whipped cream. I regret to tell you that your bed's broken too. 25 stuffed animals jumping on it will do that. Then they took your crayons and as you can see, drew all over your walls. I must say, that penguin is a pretty good artist. We're still piecing together what happened after that, but we believe they moved to your mother's bedroom to play dress up with her clothes. I'm sorry to report that the elephant may have been wearing pink frilly underwear on his head. After that, they did in fact pour bubble bath all over the floor for a sliding contest. Not good. Not good. From the hallway, we followed a sticky trail of paw prints to the living room. That is where they piled up your couch cushions and pillows into kind of a, I suppose the term would be cushion mountain, and used cookie sheets as sleds. My partner and I have to admit, that was pretty clever. After that, they decided to take a bath. Not an ordinary bath, I'm afraid. We don't know for sure who thought of the chocolate sauce, but we suspect the cow. Around 2.15, your teddy bear and his friends had a dance party. How do we know? Because that's when the call started coming in from your neighbors. Oh, they are not happy. Not happy at all. Finally, your teddy bear somehow managed to get 100 balloons delivered to your place. The delivery man is still outside, by the way, waiting to be paid. I'm sure you understand, all of this has caused quite a commotion. When everybody scattered, officers went searching house to house, trying to catch all the guests. And some of them were pretty high up. We had to call the fire department too. I suppose you're wondering where everyone is now. Ta-da! Sir, I take it you're the ringleader. Come with me, please. I'm going to have to take you down to the station. You know, I used to have a teddy bear once. He looked like you. Gosh, I haven't thought about him in years. All right, this time I'm going to let you go. If you promise me you'll behave yourself from now on. I don't want to get another one of these complaints. Come on, everybody. Let's get into the squad car and I'll drop you off at home. And Teddy, I hope you're going right back into the house to help clean up. You be good now. That was I'm Afraid Your Teddy Bear's in Trouble Today, a fun little book about a teddy bear that causes a lot of commotion for the police. We hope you enjoyed that, and hopefully we can do some more of these in the future for you guys.